my name is Marino Fagiana. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for joining this lightning presentation of uh, NestCloud IS project. I will briefly show you the function available in the present version, as well as what will uh, be available in the next version, and uh, what are the developing for Nick to fetch you. I'd like to start with a short introduction, apart from being in charge of the CryptoCloud project and the next clan, IOS project. Okay. I am a CEO of uh, TWS, a company of information technology headquartered in Italy, near uh, Venice, and which has been offering Linux system-based solution for more than 20 years. Our best-selling product, apart from Nextcloud, are Nuvola, which means uh, cloud in Italy, a Java-based system managing platform, which we hope will uh, soon be able to sell abroad an agent, a sales management system, which for the moment is available only for Android. Okay. Back in September 2014, after using OnCloud, we decided to develop a client for iOS with an encrypting function on the client side, which had to be easy to use and which didn't require any specific knowledge for setup, key, protocol, etc. Uh, at the time, although so good defense function such as coding and the HTTPS already existing in the server side, the possibility for protection from identity fraud was still missing. Now, this is less likely to happen thanks to the new system with the two-factor authentication. So, in January 2015, the first version of CryptoCloud for OnCloud appeared on Apple App Store. Upgrade after upgrade through the testing of new technology, our product improved thus becoming more stable and better performing. In June 2016, we started a partnership with the great staff of NestCloud, resulting the first version of NestCloud 2.10. Okay. For the encryption, we choose the already well known library R Encryptor AES, AES 256, which is available not only for iOS, so that in future it can be integrated in other operating systems as well. This feature shows four photos, is non encrypted mode. Here, you can see the same photo, but uh, they are encrypted. It is plain clear that anyone, everything without encrypted password would not be able to read their content. As for directory, no reference, no name is available, Everything remains encrypted with no hint at its content. Okay, we don't have time to seal all the functions available. I'd like to show you a few of the most important, which make Nextcloud a really good product. Control center, yeah. We wanted to find a way to check the underweight transfer so as to stop them or, the, or uh, to restart them. But uh, we didn't went, uh, want to add a new entry in the bar below. So we took inspiration from Apple and uh, we created the control center which can be activated from any directory. You just have to slide your finger from the title 
the bar down walls to see the control center which uh, all the uploads and the downloads underway if there is any in future we may use this procedure for other functions as well. We think there is no other iOS client app for cloud that has so many options for the automatic upload of photos and videos as Nextcloud iOS has. We are working hard on automatic uploads, despite several difficulties caused by Apple restriction. Very, very, very. And uh, as you can see, we can upload photos or videos, or videos I either uh, encrypted or not, by using only Wi-Fi. And uh, these can be made in background as well. We made an effort to create a cloud client software for iOS, which would not be draft copy of uh, some already existing well-known software such as Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and Microsoft. We are centrally for far from uh, competing with them. Nevertheless, we have something to say as well. For the horizon, we try and stay updated on a technological point of view, and we try to keep up the Apple novelties such as the 3D touch quick action. The next version. These are the issues we are developing with the new version, which uh, will be available by, uh, I think, uh, by end 2016. A new rewrite low-level driver for download and uh, upload. Shorter time to load photo previews, either plain or encrypted. 5x uh, on 10x, uh, probably. To improve 3D touch technology, we have implemented the pick and pop as well, and the new notification system, a further improvement of the function upload all camera uh, photos, videos, and improved management of the X509 certificate for HTTPS connection. Here you can see the new notification system. It is definitely easy to read. Last but not least, a short introduction on what we'd like to implement in future version. New Nextcloud Server API for new features iOS 10, it is our aim to connect Nextcloud with Siri. Siri is the vocal system of iOS system. A partnership with Speedbox engineers will soon start, so that data will be shared between Speedbox, iOS, and Nextcloud, iOS. We would also like to obtain video streaming from Nextcloud server. Okay, we think we created a good product with several functions, which is giving us a good feedback from the user home, as well as from the professional and enterprise user. We surely, we surely still have much to do, but we trust we are on the right track and we hope we will improve even more in the future with the next 2.12 version. Thanks a lot.